Hey everybody, Professor Mike here with Thomas for now your sixth part. We're nearing the end and for this one, we're working a little bit more of a sports style. It's good for self-defense, but a little bit of a different uh, sports style pressure kind of a pass and then into a really, really cool, fun choke. So let's see the whole move right now. Go ahead, Thomas in to step in, catch my foot, pass, go ahead, and baseball choke. Nice. Now, this is a really, really good guard pass, so we're going to spend a little bit of time on it, and it's super effective chokes, so we're going to spend a little time. So let's uh, watch a couple of details here. Thomas is going to split my legs. He's going to put one of his legs through the middle, go ahead, and step in deep. So now this knee is up. Now he's going to take this foot, push it down, and attach it with his leg. He's going to keep this hand on my knee, step back, pass my leg, and then come to your, his knee on belly. So this is what we're working on first. So let's do it again, different angle. Okay, he's gonna split my legs with his lead leg. Sure, he's going on this side this time. So this is good, my knee is pointing out. He's gonna jam this foot underneath his knee. Sometimes he might push my foot down. Go ahead, pants are getting caught, let's go back. Sometimes he might catch my foot and step over top with his leg. So both of those are very acceptable. Then when he's ready, he's gonna hands on the outside. He's gonna push my knee across as he steps back and goes to his knee on belly. Sometimes I'll call it an X pass because your hands as you're passing makes this X position. So again, let's go with this. Step in, split the legs. Good, nice and deep. Trap the foot and X pass or pressure pass. Good, now he's kind of passing the bolt to the side, but he's gonna try and make that X. Let's see again, he steps in, hooks the leg, now let's get a grip here, just because I'm wearing the pants. I want him to hold on to this, and as he passes this leg, super big back kick, like kick the air behind you. And there, that's where your pass starts to come in, okay? So this, uh, the pass, he can put this other hand now, as he's doing the pass, go ahead, step in, as he's getting more comfortable, because this is a little bit newer move. This hand is gonna go to my hip. So this will help out, this is similar, we did a pass, hand on the knee, hand on the hip earlier, very similar, but my feet are in the air now. So go ahead, back kick behind. Yes, there. Thanks. Let's go on this side a little bit. You guys, I hope we're doing it with us. And if you haven't, let's get started. I'm going slow for you guys. This is a newer pass for Thomas, but it's a really good one for us to work together. Okay? Which leg is he going to pass? The one that's foot is hooked. This foot, he grabs that. Hand on the hip, big back kick, and pass. Nice, knee and belly. Okay? Let's go one more time. We're going to make a little... Uh, adjustment. He's doing a really good job, so he's not making that mistake. Good. Hand is on the knee and hand on the hip. Yep, go for a big kick pack. There you go. Now, one thing to be watching out for. When Thomas gets into this position, and he splits my legs, go ahead, he's coming in. If, this is really, really nice, you can put this hand on the hip, okay? If this foot, the knee is turned inwards, oh no, no, not that much, okay? But just turned in, I can now use, you can see my foot, I can start working like a Della Eva, kind of a guard. So one thing that is, can help him is turn that knee out. I'll turn this knee outwards. Yeah, now when he turns this knee out, he's kind of stretching. Oh, well, sorry, here we are, yeah. He's stretching my knee out, or stretching my groin, which is great. I can still grab his foot, which is fine. That's not a big problem, and we're not gonna deal with that yet. So for right now, don't worry about grabbing. But if he steps a little deeper, he gets my hip off the floor. Good, let's turn to this side. Remember when we were talking about when my knees are in and he steps in, can you step in with your right leg on my, on my foot this time? We did this. Remember the last pass we did where my knees were close for the king? Oh! Yeah, and then he wants my hip off the floor, right? Well, it's the same thing here. If he takes a shallow step, the back of my, yes, there, he's stepping up higher. So now my hips are off the floor. He catches my foot underneath, and then that's where the pass comes in, okay? Trying to keep the hand on the hip. So get ready. We're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds and we switch inside. You guys are doing it with us. This is definitely one of those moves that gets a little bit more technical and you might have to stop the video, go back and do it like three, four times. Okay. Get ready and go. Steps in, catch the foot, hand on the hip. Good, and pass. Nice, go back, other side. Step in deep, deep step, catch that foot. Good, hand on the hip, hand on the knee. Yes, X pass, nice. Let's change the angle, keep it going at home. Step in, deep, catch the foot. Good, and 
Kick back, good. Make sure you get that high kick back. Keep it going, keep it going. Step in deep, catch the foot, hand on the knee, big kick back, and pass, good. You can't kick back high enough. Kick the back, kick the roof, keep going, keep going. Step in, catch the foot, kick to the roof to pass that leg. If I try to grab him, I might be able to catch my hook on his foot. Good, let's see if I can catch his leg this time. No, not quite. Let's go, one more time each side. Last little bit. Step in, catch the foot, good. And X pass. Nice, last one. Step in, deep, 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 catch the foot, and keep going. Nice, okay. So, now that you've gotten into that, um, we want, just like before, we're gonna have some pressure when you're coming in. Some people will call it a pressure pass, some will call it like an X pass, because the way your hands make. But this idea of stepping in and collapsing that person's uh, structure in their guard. Now we're working into a submission. So just like all the other submissions that we've done so far, um, there's been a little bit of a uh, reaction. I push on the knee, you go for Kimura. I push on the hip, you're looking for an arm bar. I roll away, you take my back. I shrimp away, or you might go to side mount, right? So there's, there's different reactions. For this one, there is no reaction. I'm staying there. I might, I might be trying to stall you out. You might have me push lightly on your legs, but we're just gonna be working into a choke now because I'm stalling. So he's got his knee in belly position, and Thomas is gonna do it. It's called a baseball choke, so he gets his hands like he has a baseball in his back. Okay, oh, sorry, relax for a second. Just like he has a baseball bat. Okay, so there's his baseball bat hands. He puts them right in and he grabs my lapels. So right hand here, his fingers in, left hand, thumb in. He's gonna keep these arms straight, so they're like bars, and he's gonna circle or helicopter around, put his head by my hip, and squeeze. There you go. Let's see that again. We're going to change the angles as we go. I know it might be a little difficult to hear me. Knee on belly. Hands go in. Good. Arms are straight. He's, he doesn't have to put his knee on the floor. A lot of people will feel comfortable doing that. But try to pivot off your fist. So go ahead and rotate, rotate. Good. And head down and ski. Good. Now, one thing I see pretty consistently when people do this choke is they leave their head on the belly. And I'm not a very big fan of that, and that's why, this is why. So watch, Thomas is gonna make, do his choke, go ahead. Put, no, no, if you put your head on my belly, good, I put my hand underneath, and I can unwind. So while he winds his choke up, I can stop him and unwind it. So there's two things he could do. One is put this ear beside my hip, and the other one is put this knee beside my head. Okay? So those two things will stop me from unwinding the choke. So get ready, let's do it together. Here you've got me on belly and your partner. Obviously this helps if the gi is loosened up a little bit. Your partner on the bottom is just kind of waiting. Maybe he's just kind of playing with the hands. Cuts them in, baseball grip, and let's go. Spin, 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 spin. Nice, good. Again, back to me on belly, and go ahead, spin. Nice, oh, knee on belly, other side. I'm gonna get both sides here. Ready, hands in, and spin. There, tap early, tap off, and this one gets tight. Ready, spin. Switch other side. Keep going, keep going. Ready, spin. One more time, other side. Switch sides. Get ready, ready, get those grips. And spin. Good, make sure. That knee blocks the head. So, now that you got your baseball choke, you can start adding them together. Now, I will kind of say, sorry, the people on the bottom, this one can be a little bit delicate on your, on your partner's neck. Um, when you're doing this choke, we want to try to avoid any uh, pressure on the windpipe with your wrist. So I mentioned, have your hands on the, on the lapels, fist on the floor, arms straight. It's important to keep your arms straight. When you start bending the, those arms, that's when you're more likely to put some pressure on the windpipe. So in sport, that's allowed, but for, uh, it's just not as polite with your partner. The other thing is, I want a choke that's gonna put my partner to sleep, so we have to be careful, of course, with this, and that's why I'm tapping. But by having that pressure with my arms straight, my, the arms spin around, and that's what applies the pressure. So a much, much smaller person who's half my size 
can definitely put me to sleep here if he stays tight with it. It's when you start trying to bend the elbows and you put pressure on the windpipe, sometimes it relieves the pressure on the carotid or sometimes uh, it's just not lined up very well. Okay, so you might have to adjust your grips. Having your arms straighter is gonna help out. So now we're getting into the whole thing. You're gonna pass the guard and right into the baseball choke. Person on the bottom is just there to enjoy the ride. So get ready, here we go. About 30 seconds. Remember, it's got the X style pressure pass. Okay, one partner's up, ready, and let's go. Step is, catch the foot, X pass. Good, hands are up, look for that choke spin. Nice. Let's go again. Pass on the other side. Step in, catch the foot, hand on the hip. Yeah, big kick back, thanks. Choke on the other side. Oh, well, keep on, get that head all the way over, head all the way over. Good. That's it, keep it going. We'll change the angle a little bit. Keep doing it, you're doing it with this at home. Mm -hmm. Key's starting to loosen up, it's a little bit easier. Let's get a good spin. Nice. Same thing, other side. And then step in, catch that foot, hand on the hip, big kick back, pass, hands in, spin. Nice head though. Knee by the head, knee by the head. There you go. Keep going, two more, two more. Keep it up, keep it up. Step in, catch, good, hand on the hip, kick pass, it's game faster, hands in, spin, hand down, hand down, yes, good. Last one, last one. Step in, good, hand on the hip, kick pass. Nice, step in, baseball choke. Okay, spin. Great. So this is something that you should be doing several rounds of, and if you are fortunate enough to have uh, a partner about your size, then you can go back and forth, right? We're gonna take some turns. It's a little bit light for me, so I might practice on a dummy or, or wait till I get a friend. And I could practice on the pillow on the floor, put my gear around the pillow and just do it that way. There's a couple little adjustments that I wanna do to the neon belly, things that you're gonna see that happen, or sorry, with the, the choke. So Thomas is gonna go with neon belly. He's going for his choke and then I push on his knee. And this will make it difficult for him to spin. Any ideas what you should do here? And he has to baseball choke me. This is good. Oh. So that can help. He's got the right idea. He's using his knee to clear, and that can help. Can you spin now? Go ahead, spin. No. Oh, but he can't spin. Okay. I need to. So let's go back a little bit. Use your other knee. Put this knee through and spin. Yes. So this is a common thing that people will do because I'm not maybe because they know you're going to spin. They'll just try to push you away. So put that knee down and spin. Yeah. Let's try on the other side now. It's kind of our little bonus move. Nice. That's a good transition. So we're here. I start to push on. He got his grip. He brings his knee across. Clears my leg. So he clears my arm off of his, with his leg. So let's do this. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. This is the last little bit here. Partner on the body, you can push on the knee, you can push on the hip. Bring that knee across. Good, and spin. You like this one? Yeah. It's a fast spin, isn't it? Okay, so get ready, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go, spin. Nice, let's get to the other side. Quick, quick, quick. Here, build the other side. Hands in, push on the hip, spin. Nice. You have belly on the other side. Good. And the knee spin. Keep going. The other side. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Ready? Spin. Nice. This, both sides are looking great. Let's see the other side. Spin. Get that knee in. Yeah, get that grip. Good. Last one on the side. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice. Is there one side that feels better for you or? Not much. Maybe on no. my right side a bit, but not that much. It's pretty similar. I'll say uh, they both feel good on the bottom. Um, I would, I think it's slightly better when it comes over to this side. All right, so it's got a nice spin. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> He's got a nice spin. 
when he uses his right knee on the floor to spin around. Um, that's a, a pretty fun little move, and it's a common reaction you're going to see from the person on the bottom to block that baseball choke. So now we got the five basic ones that we wanted to address for you guys. Now we got our special little bonus video coming up. Make sure, go back to number one. Pop quiz is coming up, I'll let you know. Watch number one, do it again. Watch number two, do it again. Watch number three, do it again. Watch number four, do it again. And re-watch this one and do it again. Get some practice. You should be doing all these drills four to six times for 30 seconds, and if you can, on each side, because the next one is when we test it all out, okay? Look forward to seeing you in the next one.